Yo, what's going on guys? This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my Benny's vehicles, how I mod vehicles, how I put my cars on Benny's. Alright, so in this video I will be showing you guys how I mod my vehicles, merging them with Benny wheels, completely solo, alright? First things first, you guys are going to want to bookmark that job in the video description. Alright, the job has been updated for Xbox and PS4. So there are brand new job updates. Alright, the links are there. The brand new jobs are updated. And what else? You're going to need a bunker, of course. They say that you want to have your MOC inside of your bunker too when you do this glitch. But you're going to want to spawn into your bunker when you start up the invite only session. All right, and you're gonna wanna walk outside on foot. Okay. And of course, we're gonna need the RC Bandito and we're gonna need the Arena Workshop. Okay. Boom. Once we got all of those things, we're gonna wanna walk outside after spawning into the session. All right, you should spawn into the session from your bunker okay so put your spawn location on your bunker in order to do that you will need to have living quarters for your bunker which you can purchase from the internet and in game alright so once we're outside we just want to go to options jobs and make sure our jobs are set to custom and make sure that every job is set to show alright so now we can see all of the jobs around the map like this all these little blue markers and all of that and once you guys have that job bookmarked, you're just going to want to close app and then restart the game. Uh, most times I just go into creator and I start up a brand new invite only session. And when I come back, I can see this new job here that we bookmark, which is this one right here on the map. Okay, guys. Boom. Now, let's get down to the arena. Now, you guys can call for a buzzard or whatever like that, but... uh. I think I'm just going to call for my last vehicle that I had out. Hopefully it's the Cyclone. Alright, there we go. Not quite the Cyclone, but close enough. Alright, so we're going through all the steps. And we're not going to be skipping anything, all right, guys, because this is pretty much a live stream. This is pretty much me coming at you guys live, all right? Pre-recorded, but it is live, all right? So I'm just going to be premiering this on the channel so you guys can come through and see it. And I will be in the chat interacting with you guys as well. It's going to be kind of cool. So what up, dimes? <laughs> That's going to be kind of crazy saying that to myself. And I'm going to respond to it later when I see it on the stream. All right, without getting too crazy here, let's get down to the arena workshop so I can show you guys the setup that we have down here. Also, on the way, man, I'm gonna go car shopping because I wanna find some cars that I can transform into something else, you know what I mean? We're gonna find some cars to mod on the way there. So let's take our time, let's go car shopping a little bit because I don't have too much money to spend. So we're gonna be doing this completely free too, by the way, 100% free with this method that I'm gonna be using here today. Oh, that's a stock Salton RS right there. That's pretty cool. They're pretty rare too, kinda of hard to find sometimes. Um, Let's keep driving into the city though. Maybe we'll find one closer into the city. Cause I don't wanna really hop into that slow car way out here. Okay, we got that, okay. Futo. Futos are like considered rare. Somehow, like, I don't know how, but they really are considered rare. But it used to be anyway. But they're really out here right now. Okay, so we're getting closer to the arena workshop. Come on, bruh. And I still don't see any cars outside of that Sultan that I, I want to take into the workshop. 
So some more setup work. We're gonna need the car with the modifications on it that we wanna take and put onto our stock vehicle. So basically with this glitch, we can create Benny's cars modded vehicles, all right? So basically we can take that car on the street and put Benny wheels on it like what's on this vehicle here, which you can usually only get at the workshop called Benny's on a map, which is like right here somewhere, guys. So if you guys don't even know what Benny's is, it's a workshop right here called Benny's Original Motor Works. You can take your cars in there and you can get some pretty cool customizations that you can't get normally down at LSC. All right, so like wheels like this, you can get those tire lines, like those, you know, really white tire lines covering like the whole tire. Um, that's how you get those wheels, all right? Those are Benny's wheels. So we're gonna need a car like this as well, which I like to call the proxy car. So we're gonna need a car that is like a Benny's car, a custom that we can change the wheels on. Also, you're gonna need a, a Benny's mechanic inside of your arena workshop in order to change wheels inside of your workshop, in order to change like wheels from um, Benny's to different Benny's wheels. You're gonna need that Benny's mechanic, all right? Which you can purchase right here on the internet. When you go to arena war, you go to your renovate section and you go to mechanics, you're gonna need this mechanic right here. All right, to be able to modify Benny's vehicles inside of there, okay? So like I said, we're gonna need one of these vehicles like a Sultan RS or a LG Retro Custom, something we can use to like proxy off, which I call proxy off. We're gonna put the modifications onto this car, change the wheels on this car since we can change the wheels to the type of wheels that we want and we're gonna put them onto our stock car from there. All right, so I'm still looking, honestly, I'm still looking for a car to drive past that I'm like, yo, you know what? Let's put that on Benny's. Um, maybe this Jeep, man. Since this Jeep is really, like, spawning in a lot right now. The Granger, I believe it is. The FIB truck. Yeah, uh, why not? You know, not easy to find. You don't see it out there every single day, so... All we need for this is the workshop. You don't really need a whole bunch of different garages. I only have the workshop. All right, but you will need an RC Bandito. All right, and we have our stock car that we want to upgrade right there. And we have our proxy car basically here. I mean, that's not it right there. Where is it? The, uh, it's outside. The Spectre is our proxy car, which is outside. Let's just uh, drive this out so we can get the proxy car back in here. Now from here, the hardest decision is going to be what kind of rims do we want to put on this vehicle? What kind of wheels do I think would look good on here? I'm thinking maybe Vikings. All right. But let me show you guys how we're going to do this. So since we are in the session now, we do have our job located on the map. We can see it. All we're going to need is a car with the modifications that we want. So if you guys don't have any modded vehicles, you'll have a modded vehicle after this because all you're going to need to do is take a car that is from Benny's like the Salton RS or the LG Retro and take that, you know, to Benny's, you know, make that a custom. If you don't have it as a custom car already, take the RH8 down there, upgrade it to a Benny's Original. And once you have it as a Benny's Original, you guys can change the wheels on it, right? So we're gonna change the wheels on this car right here. So this is the car we're gonna be using. For you, this guy, for you guys, this car can be anything you want. It can be a LG, Retro, anything that you can change wheels on, all right? This is our proxy car. So I'm changing the wheels on it. Like I said, it's a Benny's car. So when I go into wheel type, we will be able to see Benny's Originals and Benny's Bespoke, okay? So now we can change the wheels to different Benny wheels. Okay, guys? Boom. Maybe the waves will look good on that truck. Ah, ooh, tri bars would look pretty interesting on the truck. 
I said Viking. Lot of chrome, lot of chrome, okay. Spoked out, maybe. Knockoffs. So we're just thinking, considering what rims would go nice with that truck, what would fit nice. So once we decide, we'll just put those on. Maybe these. Maybe the straight up smoothies. Okay, yeah, I'm broke. I forgot about that. No worries. So since I am broke, I'll show you guys how to do this for free. <laughs> okay. So if you want it, if you weren't broke like me, you can change your wheels. Since I can't change my wheels, all right. I'll just show you guys how to do it with the wheels that I have currently on this car. All right. So from here. We have the car in the workshop. We just want to exit. Help. And we're just going to walk over here to the RC Bandito. Now your RC doesn't have to be on Benny's at this point. All right. As long as you have an RC Bandito here that you can hit right on the D-pad, then you're good. All right. So just stand here. Want to make sure that we have that option to hit right on the D-pad. And we're just going to press options to open up the map. We're going to select the map. Okay, from here we're just going to hit touchpad to switch to the view. And that's going to bring up all of our jobs here. And we're just going to hover over this job. We can zoom in on it if we want. Just going to hover over it until we get that option down at the bottom that says start job. We're going to press that using square. And once we get to this confirm screen, we're just going to get ready to hit OK. And once we hit OK, the screen is going to start fading black. Once it starts fading black, we want to hit right on the D-pad right before the screen goes completely black. So here, now, okay, right on the D-pad. When I said now, that's when I hit right on the D-pad. You should hear a little tick. We're going to get this black alert screen, wait on it for like two seconds, and then click OK. When you get back, your RC Bendito should now be modified like so with the wheels from this vehicle that we had in here now transferred over here along with the paint job as well okay and the, t the tag the plate everything that's on the car pretty much transfers to the RC Bendito now if you have bendies on this car you should now have bendies on your RC Bendito so if you want to get bendies on your RC Bendito you now have bendies on your RC Bendito and if you want to save it you guys just want to hit right d-pad change something on the RC and then back out all right but if you guys want to do it the way that I'm doing it, since we already have our modifications that we like on our RC Bendito, we're not going to be changing anything. We're not going to save anything. We're just going to be using it as a proxy. All right. Just using it as a medium. All right. A means to an end. So we're just going to hop back in the car, take it out, hit left on the D-pad, return it to storage very quickly. Hop out of the vehicle. And we're now going to transfer everything that's on that RC Bendito onto this Granger our stock vehicle which is this way hop in the vehicle smack right on the d-pad boom What's it going to be? What are we doing then? now don't worry if you guys fell that glitch that I did a second ago where you where I was trying to put the the modifications on the RC Bendito. If you guys fell, when you come back, if you don't see your RC changed, you guys just want to hop back inside of the vehicle, hit right on the D-pad, and then just back out and try it again, okay? Every time that you guys fell that glitch, you must get back in the car, hit right on the D-pad, and back out, and then go back to the RC and try to glitch again until you hit it okay and you just want to hit it right before the screen goes black you want to hit right on the d-pad you should hit a little tick okay and that's just a little indication of you hitting right on the d-pad to go into the menu of the rc bendito all right so now that we have our stock car in here into the workshop all we did was pull the, the stock car into the workshop just going to press circle to back out of that menu and then select exit the vehicle from here it's very simple, very easy. We're just gonna go over here to the RC, hit right on the D-pad, back out. We're not gonna change anything. We're gonna jump in the car, 
okay once we get that little notification up there at the top we'll we'll press start the options button boom select the map touchpad to switch the view find the job press square to start it from here we're going to start spamming left on the d-pad now we're going to select ok and keep spamming left on the d-pad until we see that little animation screen and we can stop spamming from here we'll get this alert count to like two and then select ok to that screen and boom we're back in the arena and we have our car modified now so this car did not have bennies on it before it now does have benny wheels on it okay boom all we need to do now is save the vehicle so to save it we need to take it back into the workshop so press right on the d-pad to modify the vehicle boom Now, since I don't have any money, you guys are going to be like, well, how are you going to mod anything? I'm just going to have to find something on the vehicle that I can change for free. So, something that I can change for free is the plate. Um, right here. And we'll just put this plate on it. Boom. Back out. And then select exit the workshop. From there, the vehicle is 100% saved. All we need to do is just hop out of it. It's going to disappear. As you guys can see, the icon for saving showed up, disappeared. And boom. Our vehicle is now 100% modified. Okay. We have bennies on it. If you guys didn't have tinted windows, green tinted windows, then you won't have that. If you didn't have the yanked in plate on the car before, then you won't have the yanked in plate. But you will have bennie wheels on your car, which is a very, very good thing, all right? Something a lot of people wanted, something, you know, I know I wanted for a very long time, be, to be able to put bennie wheels on any vehicle. So that's very, very special. Uh, here's another one of the vehicles that I made recently. You know, shout out to five stars because uh, I still have one of those tags. <laughs> That's crazy. I had a couple cars from the five star gang over here. So, got that tag, you know, revived it a little bit there. Something crazy a lot of people don't see right there. But that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. And if you wanted to keep flipping cars, all you would have to do is just, you know, rinse and repeat the same thing, guys. Just change anything that you want on this vehicle if you wanted to like change the paint job or anything like that all you would need to do is just flip the paint job onto the rc bandito like i would just take this car in here take it into the workshop flip it onto the rc bandito which means merge it onto the rc bandito take the rc bandito through the job all right and keep doing that until it sticks might might happen on the first try might happen on the second might take a couple more once that happens, drop that car out, return it back to storage, and then you'll take this one inside. Once you take that car inside, you hop out of the car, you walk up to the RC Bandito, you hit right on the D-pad, you don't change anything, you back out, you go back in the car, and you take the car through the job. Okay? Once you take the car through the job, this car is now going to be modified with that green paint job and those rims that's over there on that car. And since this is a proxy car, if those rims weren't like modded, if that car didn't have Benny's rims, but it had a very nice paint job that we wanted, it will be on this car now with a very nice paint job with those rims. But since this car is a Benny's vehicle, we could change the rims anyway to Benny's rims again. Okay, so they might be stock rims now, but we can change them again to Benny's plus keep that paint job, right? So we would do that. Now we have that car set up as our proxy, and now we can flip it onto another vehicle that we would grab off the street. You know, anything that we grab off the street, we would have it ready to get that green paint job with Benny rims of our choosing that we think would look good on that stock vehicle. So from there, all we would have to do is take this car back in there and flip it onto the RC Bendito merge it onto the RC Bendito so you would hop out of the vehicle walk onto the RC Bendito make sure you got the option to hit right on the d-pad take it through the job smack right on the d-pad right before the screen goes black when you start the job up right before the screen goes black hit right on the d-pad that's the timing 
and I know you guys can hit it. It's very, very easy. Once you guys do that, you come back, all of those modifications should be flipped onto the RC. Once you do hit it, get back in the car, take it back to storage. Now, hop into the car of your choosing. Might be a brand new stock vehicle, might be a brand new, you know, vehicle from Legendary Motorsports, you know, something that you just purchased, Lamborghini or something like that, Bugatti Torero. You know, you just want to take it in here. Once you take it in there, want to hop out of it. Walk into the RC Benito, hit right on the D-pad, don't change anything, hop back in the car, take it through the job, boom. You'll now have crazy rims on it of your choosing, plus that green paint job. So that's how you guys can flip multiple cars, multiple paint jobs, multiple rims, all right? For free, 100% free. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty broke over here, so I'm going to do something about that very soon. But that's it for this video, you guys. As always, I'm trying to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. And I need each and every single one of you guys watching to do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications if you're new. Hit the like button. Share this video with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Please help me help you, you guys. And keep bringing you these great GTA 5 online videos. Until next time, this is your boy, Glitch Guru, officially out. Peace.